Hello everybody and welcome to Drawing with Paolo. Today we are drawing a dragon. A dragon like you've never seen before. Actually this is for a little contract I made for one of my uh, co-workers who's working on a podcast. I'll be giving you more information on that within the uh, YouTube notes. Uh, and here's the dragon I'm drawing. I'm using once again iPad Pro with Procreate. It allows me to sketch directly onto the iPad screen and it records my every movement. And so here we are going along drawing this dragon's face and his claws right now. I'm just going at it freehand. I'm not building in any basic shapes to begin with, which I've been showing you forever, I, I feel like. So if you feel confident enough in being able to just to draw a, a, a head and just go ahead and go nuts freestyle, like I'm doing right now, then go ahead and do so. Here's the anvil that this dragon uses to build stuff. Uh, might be a bit small, but he can handle it. And then I'm going to use an ink pen and start inking. In the last video, I was using an ink brush, which allows me to change the thickness of the line as I draw. In this case, it's really just a uniform line, which is like a, a ballpoint pen, essentially. And we're just drawing around these lines, making them a little bit thicker, putting in some thicker lines when I need, like in the nostrils, for example, or, or the shading underneath his lip. And we're just having at it within the ears here and the horns on his head, just like that. And then, of course, the uh, spikes on his back and his uh, little few scales here and there along the body line. So this video also has the coloring portion to it, which, once again, you've not seen very often uh, from me. So what I like to do in this case, once this will be drawn out, I like to actually set up a little bit of a background color in this case and then color on top of that uh, color of the dragon using the background as a little bit of a translucent uh, translucency through the dragon so the dragon's colors uh, are also blending with the background colors and this is uh, drawn on top of another layer so I have a nice layer on top of my background color which makes it easier for me to clean stuff up later on so as you can see here I'm coloring in those uh, spikes back there and uh, then we're going to be coloring his teeth as well. So we're going to put in a little bit of color here, just like that. And each one of his teeth, let's finish the ground first. You know, that's what I like to do is have the whole background done completely so I can see through the dragon there. Uh, and then using the background color, what I like to do is, you can't really tell from this Procreate speed drawing element, but I'm tapping in the background to pick up some of that background color, and I'm modifying it slightly to apply it to the dragon. So that makes a nice uniform color choice as I'm going along here. Now this dragon is within a, a cavern of some sort, uh, and I believe it'd be nice to have a nice opening in the background afterwards, so we'll probably do that afterwards as open up a, a hole in that tunnel. So I'm coloring up the eye here. Um, you'll probably see it better than I do while recording this content uh, if you zoom in or uh, maximize your screen on YouTube and adding a little bit of reflection in the teeth and shading to the body and uh, yeah it's a lot of fun to use this software it's a lot faster and as you know if you've been following me for some time you know I'm a little bit lazy and I really like that push pencil because it saves some time less cleanup in the case of an iPad Pro and an Apple pencil all I need to do is draw you know there's really no preparation required change color change tool on the fly it's super efficient and super fun but you know uh, it is expensive uh, so not everyone can get one for sure, but anyway, uh, if you can, the new iPad just came out, and I do not work for Apple anymore, but I do recommend the new iPad, which is cheaper. It's a smaller iPad size and a lot of fun. So here we are just adding colors to the backgrounds and whatnot, and uh, I'll eventually add in some background elements once I finish up the shading here for that paw there just lying down on the ground. And uh, here we go. We're going to put in a few columns back in the background there. And then probably open up a hole in the back. I think that'd be nice to have a nice background element there. There we go. Open this up. Cave entrance. Far in the background there. There you go. And uh, we'll put a little bit of a sky color and grass color back in there too. So this is uh, the dragon. It was a little contract. Luckily, Procreate does record my content. And I'm happy to share it with you. I hope this is something that you enjoy to see. Thanks for following me. And we'll be seeing you on another episode of Drawing with Paolo.